A lot of people did not know. My wife and I are together for almost 12 years, if we count dating and living together prior the marriage. I am 42 now and she is 31 so there is bit more than 10 years of age difference. We have two small kids, and since the first one is born, we went through the classic transformation of the relationship, less time, much more responsibilities and difficulties that come with the children, and slowly we start losing the connection with each other. We had bonding less and less, not because I wanted but she was always tired, and that was quite bothering me, but however I never ever had a thoughts of cheating her due to that. I was always thinking it is a temporary phase that will go away by itself when kids get bit older, so I did not worry too much and I respected her loss of interest. Last year she got a new job, with a quite nice condition, better than she hoped for. That made her quite happy, to step out from previous bad job and start having a clear career path in front of her. Her boss is in his 50s, but relatively good looking. After a while, I started noticing that he is sending her WhatsApp messages outside of working hours. I could not resist the urge and I started checking her phone, and the messages were mostly business related at beginning. Later, they became bit personal, something like I have a great time with friends and we are drinking the bottle of brandy your husband gave me when I invited you for a barbecue, just before that. They had a two days business trip together. I did not worry about the fact she is going alone with the boss as I could not even imagine the possibility of something between them, and I was so sure in my wife's that it was not even a remote possibility in my eyes. Also, approximately at that time, our physical life was slowly getting better, and I had a feeling I am finally getting my wife back. Couple of months later, new business trip came, now three nights abroad, however this time with another five to six colleagues. That was a moment when I started raising my eyebrows a bit due to all messaging outside of working hours, and the fact that I noticed she is starting to take care more about her physical appearance. She was always beautiful and well-dressed, but at that period that all went a step up which I had to notice. After the first night of the trip, I woke up early in the morning and I noticed her last seen status on WhatsApp was around 2 a.m. In the morning she sent me the message that she came to hotel at 12 and fell asleep around 1 a.m. We talked over telephone and she told me the same, without me asking in suspicious way, but I noticed a bit of hesitation and thinking for a moment in her voice. Again, not a big deal but that started me worrying, was it lie or she just did not watch at her clock? I got nervous and I started snooping around the house, and I discovered a receipt from the shop for the new dirty underwear that she did not show me, bought from her personal account and she has bought it only three days before the trip. At the same time, she has bought another set that she has shown to me, which was paid from our common account. At that point I started really worrying she has affair with her boss. I was looking for more hints of what is going on, and I even realized that as I know her Gmail password, I can eventually access her location history. I am bit shamed that I had to use that method, but I saw that the night she told me to be in hotel at 12.30 actually she arrived at 11pm. So instead 30 minutes awake in hotel, she had at least 3 hours. Next 3 days were hell for me, I was telling myself that I am getting crazy, feeling guilty for snooping and thinking I am getting out of my mind. The day she came back, I convinced myself that I am just in delusion and have decided not to mention anything to her. However, when I saw her, I noticed immediately her upper lip was swollen, exactly how I remember it was when we were young and we were kissing extensively. Of course, that reignited my suspicion. That night I could not sleep, and in the middle of the night, when I noticed she was turning in the bed and getting awake, I started talking to her and I told her I am worried she has affair with her boss. She of course denied it, asking me why I think so and I gave her all my hints. We talked for at least two hours, she convinced me I was going out of my mind and I even started to apologize. Just before going back to sleep, she however told me that he is indeed sometimes crossing the boundaries of professional behavior. He is telling her she has nice hair, and that she will tell him next time that she wants to keep the relation 100% professional. I believe that, as I knew guys can hit on her due to her above average physical appearance. Next few days were a bit tensed, she was angry because I was thinking she is cheating on me. I was angry at myself for bringing that up. However, I could not swallow the fact about the underwear she did not show me and paid from her account, so I kept snooping her GPS logs, and I noticed last month she went five times before the work to the same place in industrial zone, bit away from her standard route to the work. Last time it was that morning, so a week after business trip. Okay, that was definite red flag and I was sure something is going on. I could not figure out what she could be doing there, I was secretly hoping she is buying donuts for her colleagues, but there was no bakery around that place. I approached her the same night, I told her I can access GPS location logs, shame on me again, and she had no choice then to admit. She said she was seeing her boss in the car before the work, but she said it is not an affair, but they are just talking and sitting in his car. I asked if they were kissing or doing anything else in the car, and through the tears she said yes, they were kissing. So okay, at the end I was not really crazy, my intuition was right. I asked about the details, she said that only once he tried to kiss her in the car, they touched the lips and she quickly pulled back. She did not admit anything bad happening at the business trips, but of course, it was and still is so difficult for me to believe that. 
We spent whole night talking again, almost fighting. She told me that I am too jealous. I did not help enough with the kids in the house. I was such a bad husband according to her and she was getting desperate due to that. On the other hand, her boss is so full of action, showing the energy I am missing. And I my mind that sounded like this, he is a VP in their company and earning probably 10 times more than me. I even got some statements similar to famous, love you not in love crap. I know I am not the perfect husband, but I was providing well for the family, not drinking, smoking, not going out much and chasing woman. Yes, I am a bit overweight, same as her boss, but since this discovery I lost 10 kilograms in less than a month due to stress. So, no real reason to paint such picture I would say. All of this happened 4 months ago. Since then, we had ups and downs. I am trying to go over that, she has apologized and promised it all stop. Meetings in car at least, she is thinking I am overreacting. Nothing too bad happened. She was just feeling important that he was telling her important information about the work and colleagues, however mixed with his personal life details, she admits. She realizes sitting in the car and eventual kissing was totally unacceptable, but she did not fall in love with him, she just thought bit of flirting is not bad if that can give her more opportunity at work. On my side, I am quite shaken due to the situation. I do not trust the story about one kiss, if I am sitting with the any woman five times in car and get only one lame kiss, I would feel very bad about my manly skills. I am not sure if they actually had to the point of sleeping together, but I would not be surprised even that happened at one of business trips. Even do that single kiss an obvious emotional affair, kind of, I am showing big signs of depression and constant anxiety and I am very nervous. Every day she is going to work and I know she is meeting that man I feel very bad, I can't stop thinking about what was happening. I can't concentrate at my work and I am worrying it will hit me back soon very hard. We discussed changing her work, but it is not that easy. She has unique opportunity in this company, leaving would push her back at least few years and who knows if and when she would at all have new job. We need her salary to support the family and pay the mortgage, losing that money would have serious impact on us, however we could survive on my earning for a while, but it would be much more difficult than now. I agree that she keep working there, limit their contact to only professional activities, but it is very difficult of course when he is her direct manager. Also, few days after the D-Day, I called other man and asked to meet him. We met in the pub during the lunch, I accused him that he wants to screw my wife, and his explanation was that acoustic in the office is very bad. Everyone can hear what they are talking and he was forced to call her for private meetings in his car to discuss important stuff. Funny guy, who on the earth would believe that bull? He denied any kissing. I told him that if whatever was going on continues, I would expose it to his wife, notify HR and the company, and I would expect that he resigns as it is totally unprofessional that Superior has relation with one of his married employees. He was noticeably shaking during the meeting, and I am pretty sure he was scared a lot and looking for the way out of trouble. I tried to fix my issues too, I started exercising in the gym, I lost additional 5 kilograms and started getting nice muscles, bought new clothes, perfumes, started shaving more regularly, seeing friends for drink after work, I am trying to move on as much as I can. Also, I am paying more attention to kids and spending more quality time with them, as it was one of the complaints of my wife, but, the anxiety and semi-depression is not going away. We have two to three good days then we start talking again about the affair and fighting about different perceptions of what has happened. She expects me to get over it and can't believe that almost for four months this nightmare is not stopping. Sometimes we even consider the divorce and if we do not have two small kids probably that would be one of the options. I wonder what the community thinks about this situation. Am I too sensitive or maybe I am having some real jealousy issues as my wife claims? Should I really get over that in these four months or it is impossible? How things are going, I doubt I would ever be able to get over it if she continues working next to him. Even she promised hard that I have no reason to worry. She knows that any repeated situation would be catastrophic and lead straight to the divorce, of which she is very afraid. Also, he is also well aware that I can make him a lot of trouble if I go public with the story to the company and his family. Is my anxiety and unrest having a real reason behind? Is that something normal? Or am I just going nuts and overreacting? I still love my wife, I do not want to lose her, I think she also still has feelings for me. But for both of us the biggest concern is well-being of the kids, neither of us wants to deal with the all the mess that divorce brings. Even I think it is not so serious what happened to destroy the family, it was not a five years full-blown affair. But, if I do not get over this and manage to concentrate while she is at work, I am risking losing my job which could be catastrophic event having in mind I am bringing two-third of family income and she only a third. When we are together, I have no issues, I do not think about the affair, but when I am alone it starts over and over, and especially while she is at work. I wonder, if she changes the job, would anything change? Is the anxiety linked for her working with the other man, or just the fact we are not together? It would be really bad if finally, I make her quit the job, and I keep feeling the same at the new job once she finds it. I do not want a divorce, and neither is she. But also, I do not want to move my depression to her if she ends up jobless for a long time. 
If I do not have two kids below five I would maybe do that. And what then? Be a weekend daddy. I need real solution and not that. It is now around one month since I started the thread, a number of things happened since then. At the first moment, when I was reading through all replies here, I started to be very angry again and obsessed with the whole situation. And same day I had the worst fight ever with my wife, where we both were thinking that there is no option other than divorce. However, we decided to give a try to the counseling. Having in mind the reading of all the answers here made me feel so crappy, I decided not to reply for a while until my head gets a bit clearer. Basically, I discovered the situation based on my intuition mostly, and after five months of fights, discussions, trying to read her mind and analyzing her responses and her behavior, my feeling is that she did not sleep with him, but they very likely had more than one pullback kiss. Reasons for me to think that are various, but mostly based on her reactions in number of situations. One of posters above asked about hysterical bonding, and yes, we had that after the D-Day, for a month or two, basically sleeping once or twice per day, and now it is bit less but still we are doing it much more than previous two to three years. What she is claiming is that whole situation was a big misunderstanding, and she acted without thinking. She said that she knew very well that he is having crush on her, and she was thinking that some flirting won't do any harm, but actually can give her some advantages at work. She is admitting as her only mistake that she accepted these meetings in the car, and she did not tell me about the meetings as she knew I would be pissed off. On the other hand, she could not easily reject the meetings without impacting the relation she had with him, and on top of that he was giving her confidential information that were worth the risk according to her. She is claiming she was absolutely not in love with him, not even a slightest bit, but I feel she was in love with the excitement and feeling of secrecy and importance around the whole thing. For all my proofs she has some explanation. For example, for the underwear she said that it was in the bedroom and the bag on the floor for three days before she left for business trip and she was not hiding it at all from me. And I found indeed the receipt in the paper bag on the floor, and it had only dirty brand name but it is just average set and that she would choose something much nicer for the first date night with potential lover. For the sore lips she said they are due to very cold weather, and indeed I noticed again such sore lips on her couple weeks ago when we spent few hours outside walking in the winter. Again, I would be naive to take it as granted and blindly trust, but still, she has at least a bit reasonable explanations. Regarding her job, we made a deal that she would stay there for another 12 months max. She is expecting promotion that would allow her to search for the other job in the same level at other companies, and she is asking me to understand that and just give her some more time to lock the promotion, use few trainings that she is supposed to get and then go somewhere else to work. I do not think that I am in position to blackmail her now and ask to quit immediately. I think she is at the point where she will do that if I insist, but I know that would make her very unhappy and depressed so I guess I can live with this 12 months deal, and I made sure to understand I want to stick to this deal at. The counseling is big disappointment for me. We had three sessions until now with 70 years old lady recommended by her work psychologist, whom we both visited by the way. Basically, after these sessions my wife and lady counselor painted such picture of myself that I absolutely could not agree with, that I was jealous, not allowing her to go out seeing friends and she stopped that due to my jealousy, that I was acting possessive, not devoting the time to the children, and similar. The last drop was when lady counselor said that I sound paranoid when I said that this picture of myself is not realistic. And it is actually the result of the affair fog my wife is going through where she is rewriting the history and justifying her behavior by blaming me. She said that according to her this was not an affair, but a misunderstanding, that my wife was naive to accept the meetings in the car, but she can understand her motivation. I could understand as well, if I could only trust her, which I am of course struggling. Nevertheless, I decided not to go to this counselor anymore as she was apparently on the side of my wife. They made me look crazy and I still have to pay for that crap. I do not know if male counselor would make any difference, but I am not planning to give it a try with anyone else at this point of time. Also, next day after the big fight I mentioned triggered by me reading the forum, she went to her work psychologist as she was in shock and could not stop crying. It was first time she had chance to tell the story to anyone else except me, and that lady managed to calm her down a bit. She proposed that I also come for a free consultation, paid by her company, so at least I got tiny bit of revenge, and I had very nice and calm meeting with that lady. I explained her whole situation, what happened, how I feel, etc. She said that she fully understands me, that she had similar situation with her husband in the past and while I was talking to her, I felt she was again going through her own story. I could catch sparkling or tears in her eyes while I was talking. Her message to me was that affairs happen and it is part of the life, it could happen to me as well. She told me that she is sure after the conversation with my wife that she loves me and that she is very hurt with the whole situation, and that I need to release the grip little bit, otherwise I would push her away from me. She told me the story about man in dessert who takes sand in two hands, in one hand he presses the sand and in another he just holds it on his palm, and asked me in which hand I would have more sand. Anyway, after that session I felt quite well and relieved. 
My decision at this point of time is to try to keep eyes open for any signs that something is still going on, use the technology for that but also try not to go completely nuts with being detective, and try to reconcile. In case I notice again any sign that actually she made fool of me and any sort of cheating is still going on, with this guy or with anyone else, I am clear in my head that I would not tolerate that and go for divorce, no matter what. So yes, maybe most of the people here would say I am chicken, but after many days and nights of the consideration, this sounds as the most logical option, as I can't ever be sure if I am right or wrong here, if she is lying or telling the truth. If she would only understand the pain I went through because all of this, I think I would have no doubts, but at the moment it is not the case. She is only accepting that she is guilty of having meetings in the car that certainly look bad when looked from outside, and that kiss was kind caused by the moment of silence and she immediately pulled back and it did not happen ever again. Probably bullcrap, I know, but still, let me try to believe that unless I am faced with the naked truth down the road. At least, she is shaken a lot, same as me, she went through the hell so I can hope it all made her understand that such things are not to play with, ever again. I have yesterday exposed everything to her family, brother and mother, and as expected, they are shocked and, on my side, at least her brother. He personally begged me to forgive her and think about the children, do not destroy the home, etc. A poor guy, he was really touched. We had huge fight then, as expected, and at the moment not talking to each other. I know very well that she is lying, but I am just curious on the degree of lying. As I said, my intuition is telling me that they did not sleep together, yet, but it would happen if I did not timely discover. I suspect that due to her health condition at that moment, that I would not reveal here in public. I could forgive everything, if just I know it is the truth, but I guess I would never know it for sure. Especially because I was not Angel myself, I did some cheating as well while we were dating and had parallel relationship. But since we are living together, I did not even look at other women. That is one of the reasons why I would be able to forgive. All your words are resonating in my head, and I know that it might be difficult to accept the reality, but at the end I will have to, I know. Tomorrow I will start with personal therapies, let's see what that would bring. I know the life cycle of affairs and all of that. I can't make any decision based on the replies here on the forum, as at the end of the day it is my life, I know her for 10 plus years, and we had many good moments together, and as I said, I was not angel myself. Anyone can make mistake, and it is in human nature to forgive. But I need to ensure this would not happen again and at the same time prevent huge financial loses that would come with divorce and also think about children, so I will give it a try and save what can be saved. If things do not get fixed, the divorce option is always there. My past mistakes were secret, and I was stupid enough to tell her once her affair escalated. So now she has the ammunition to fight back. Comment. You really do need to make your own decisions based on gut instinct, logic, rational and history. Unfortunately, this is not even close to every situation, this is a situation where emotion on the other end take over logic and rational, and, on our side, the betrayed spouse, emotion and fear take over for courage and doing what is right. We think doing what is right is what you are doing and what I did for seven months. Problem is, while it may be noble in some ways, it's actually the easy route and the quickest route to losing the last amount of respect the spouse may have had for you. OP responds. So, the latest development is that she started looking for a new job. It is clear that 12 months deal is not going to work. We can't afford her just quitting as we have serious mortgage on our back, but I hope that in month or so she will be out of there. What I am starting to realize is that the issues that I am experiencing are most likely linked to post-traumatic stress disorder that was triggered by D-Day events. I am starting to doubt that her being forced to unwillingly change the job will help on itself. He update what happened since the last post I made several months ago. She agreed to start looking for a new job, sticking to the story of one pull-away kiss. She sent number of application letters, but without single interview invitation. I was still suspicious as I was picking some signal, although she tried to convince me that it is again my paranoia and she is fully dedicated to find new job, in order to help me and do me a favor, so I can calm down. According to her it was not necessary thing to do. Last week, she announced going out with her girlfriends, divorced single mom and other friend who started dating her husband while he was still married real dream team, and I knew that she is confiding to them. I placed VAR in the car and I learned that she had one physical encounter with her boss back in October, after my first confrontation, and then they stopped doing that. However, he was still trying to lay her again but she never agreed. I heard her saying that by staying at that job she has two issues, problems that she has with me, and also, she has to fight the temptation to FCK him again and she does not know how long she can resist. Also heard her saying that whole relation with lovers in general are very superficial, and she knows that now when she experienced it herself, and that family is really most important thing. I heard her saying she never had any other lover and this was her first and only time. I heard also some insulting things said by her friend, she told my wife that I was good enough for her when she was young but now, she has overgrown me, that if we separate and she start full relation with her boss, if he leaves his wife, she can expect at some point to feel exactly the same with him like she is feeling with me now, once initial excitement is gone. 
I heard my wife saying he invited her for lunch just day before and said to her it is the first anniversary of their first business trip together. The friend asked her if she had slept with him back then and she said no because she had her period, otherwise it is very likely she would. Next morning, I have confronted her, after listening to the recording. I told her I hired P.I. and I got undeniable proofs that she slept with her boss. On direct question if they had slept together, she finally answered positive. I started asking for the details, and what she told me more or less matches to what I got captured by VAR. I feel so relieved now, as I am not crazy at the end, and now I have to decide what to do next. I see three options, divorce, reconcile and as third option to divorce but stay living together to raise the kids, three and five years old, in order to reconcile. If I decide so, I have put following conditions in front of her. Quit that job today, she agrees. Open all communication methods, email, Facebook, and give me access to her mobile phone. She is refusing giving access to current iPhone right now saying that she would feel terrible if I read her trash chats on WhatsApp with her toxic friends, but she agrees to get new phone once she returns iPhone to the company and give full me access to the new device. She will never ever contact him and report him trying to contact her, she is okay with that and also suggested to change phone number. She has to stop all contact with toxic friends and stop going out with them or even talking, chatting, okay. Answer all questions I have about relation with the boss, she is okay, except saying where they had slept together, again justifying it with the shame. She is on sick leave for next two weeks and then going another two weeks on vacation so there is some time to decide what to do. I told her every day going to that office is reducing chance to reconcile for 50% and she stopped immediately. If we divorce, I want her to keep that job as she will never again find similar condition. And I do not want to support her more than I legally have to. Boss was very generous with giving pay rises to his duck buddy. I am not sure what is the best thing to do in this situation. Divorce will have significant impact on the kids and financial burden, but I am also not sure how can I ever forgive this kind of betrayal. Actually, that one time, if the story is true and all proofs right now point to that, does not bother me so much as all the lies and deception in this whole situation, and the lack of compassion from her side when I was in really big crisis and suffering from PSTD, which is finally gone, hopefully forever. Also, she was not really thinking about the kids, family, house investment we made together. Instead she justified in her head all of this by thinking I was not helping her enough with the kids and was bad husband in general. Which is absolutely not true, that I gained weight and was not taking care of myself. Which is true, and that things just happened and slipped out of control. Actually, I am not sure how much and if she loves me at all right now, but I know she was crazy about me during our dating years and early on living together. I still have feelings toward her, although she probably does not deserve them. Last year since all this started to happen, I started lifting weights, and I looked better than ever, even when she met me for the first time, with 20 kilograms less and some nice muscles and no belly at all. If I continue like this at some point, I can even have six-pack, so returning to the meat market should not really be an issue, but I am not sure if I really have desire to do that. Finally, in one of previous posts I said I was not angel myself so let me explain what I actually did. When we just started dating, she was 20, I was 30, I was not really planning long-term commitment with her and basically, I had one more friend with benefits during our first year of dating, and I was dating few other girls which I never managed to get laid. From our second year of dating, I was physically exclusive with her, and we engaged and started living together two years later, she was 23 and I was 33. Few years later we married and I was fully faithful and dedicated husband all this time, and cheating was never on my agenda as an option. Comments, her attitude is all wrong. Dump her and find a better woman. If she really feels she's outgrown you, why would that ever change? She should be begging for forgiveness, not setting conditions under which she'll take you back. For the record, the boss will never leave his wife unless the wife leaves him first. Once his wife knows, it's likely the affair will end immediately. Time for your wife to see what abandonment feels like. Think about why she doesn't want you to see what is on her phone. Is it really that she will feel terrible? If that is true then she is selfish and uncaring of you. But what is probably the truth is she knows there's stuff on there which will cause you to decide to D which is also selfish because she is protecting herself, not you. I think you are misreading her intentions here and putting a positive spin that she is somehow being nice to you by not giving you access to her phone. Well, it's too late now because she has wiped it clean of anything incriminating, but there was stuff on there she knew would bring consequences to her, and she didn't want the consequences. You're letting her drive this ship right now, which is wrong. Not only are you being taken for a ride, but you are also losing the opportunity for her to hit rock bottom and capitulate. She is resisting you right now. That is not that path to R, that is the path to rug sweeping, which is the path to the heartbreak of future affairs. She has to utterly give up any idea that what she wants matters. She may desperately want to keep the marriage and family together, but she has to realize that only your desire is what matters. Picture it like the alcoholic. They will lie, cheat, and steal to keep their ability to drink. They'll hide it. They'll lie to your face. Only when they hit rock bottom do they have that change where they give up all resistance. 
This is where your cheating wife needs to get to before R is a possibility. Her refusing the phone looks like resistance and self-protection. She is still on the cheater's script. OP responds. Actually, this sounds very reasonable. I will keep insisting to get access to the phone and I am pretty sure I should be able to recover deleted messages. If I notice that she has deleted anything incriminating and pointing she has hidden significant details, then I guess I will have my answer. I am pretty sure she has no communication with that guy on the phone as he is real fox and knows he should not leave obvious traces like that. I will not expose to HR until I am sure about the direction. If we divorce, I need her to keep that job. Her job market value is quite low unfortunately, and she would have serious issues finding another job. If we reconcile, I will have to support her until she finds another job, but I for sure do not want to support her more than it is legally necessary if we divorce. If we go for reconciliation, I will decide if I want to revenge to that piece of crap or just leave it to God to handle it his way. I have strong desire for revenge towards him, but I have to control it at least for the time being. I asked her again for her mobile phone and this time she has given it to me. Then I told her okay, I will now connect it to PC to try to recover deleted messages. She jumped like the panther and took the phone from me. Maybe if I did the exposure at her work early on in September last year, I could still save the marriage. But I would then face years of agony and false reconciliation and then few years down the road the same thing would happen. I now clearly see that her character is like that and it is impossible to change. Now I am starting again with 42 years on my back which is still not too much. Looking better than ever, even my STBX said that this morning. I have two wonderful children that I am going to take care of every other week, and will have more free time than ever for activities, hobbies, dating, travel, etc. I guess she will try to screw me financially as much as she can, but at the end it is only money, and I have chance to focus now and earn more than ever. I feel sad and happy at the same time, and again thank everybody for the support. I apologize for being in denial for so long and acting like a wuss. I also expect that lessons learned during this year will be very helpful for the rest of my life, and I will not allow again any women to take advantage of me. I do not want to risk my STBX having troubles at work as both she and I need that job. However, I friendly advise he to start collecting hard proofs about her affair with OM in case he tries to fire her or do anything nasty. Hopefully she will be smart enough to do so. How she's taking it so far. She is not good, and me neither to be honest. After she took the phone back, I have vented out and started yelling and calling her names, which I never did during this crisis until now, I even started throwing her clothes from the closet on the floor. I calmed down very quickly luckily, and I will pay special attention not to do such things anymore. Since then, it is roller coaster, yesterday I felt good and confident I am doing the right thing. Then this morning I noticed that behavior of my kids is completely different than usually. Daughter, almost six, just sit in the corner with her tablet and not talking whole morning and little boy, three, cried unusually long and loud sitting on the kitchen floor. They are starting to feel the tension in the house. I told her two days ago that divorce is my final decision. At that moment she pretends she is strong and said okay, let's do that, we are anyway too different. And last night when I came home, she started to talk and cry, trying to explain me I should think about important things in the life, saying how terrible she felt with me during last three years, since other kid is born, and finding all possible justifications why she did what she did. Later that night she told me that she had meeting with a lawyer already and apparently her waking up has already started. She also had a session with the therapist yesterday but did not want to share details. I listened the recording again and I can conclude from the conversation with her GF is that they had multiple encounters and full-blown affair, however without real references when, how many times, how long. Also, her GF said, baby you are really in love and she replied no, which did not sound very confident. Whole recording actually sounded much worse and more painful for me than the first time I heard it. One of the very few positive things I heard is that she never cheated on me before, which honestly does not mean too much for me after 10 months of lies and deception. And of course, she is still playing the script saying they had slept together one time only, back in October. This is what I can't understand, how is it possible to stick with the lies for so long? I think that in similar situation I would say all I have long time ago and let destiny take care of the rest. Update. I went to talk to the lawyer regarding the divorce, and I have more or less all info I need in order to move forward and protect some investments that I had before the marriage. As I am 10 years older, I had some savings and an apartment which I sold during the marriage and I invested money into our family house. I need to make sure I get at least part of that money back once house is sold. However, in the country I live, West Europe, courts are closed during the summer and only urgent things can be submitted, so I have to wait for September to submit the divorce application. We had a vacation booked for first two weeks of August but I decided not to go. So she will go alone with kids and I have quickly organized a business trip plus small photography trip afterwards in North Italy and Switzerland, so I will have some time for my own to clear up my thoughts. I am having some weak moments when I think that maybe we can still work it out, 
but they do not last for a long time. The reality has hit me very hard and I do not really have any dreams or hopes anymore that the girl I married can magically come back. The woman I live with right now is just a shadow of that girl, full of lies, manipulation and without normal human feelings I would expect. I am starting to develop a theory about what really happened and what is the underlying issue. I do not know if this makes sense but let me try to explain. Basically, she is raised in the dysfunctional family, with father who was alcoholic and mother with her own psychological problems. She was half neglected, for example, when she was six years old, they were leaving her alone at home with three years old brother while parents were gone working, with the neighbor periodically keeping eye on them. Every day after work, if father was not home at 5 p.m., they knew he would come home late and drunk and then he would start yelling in the house, wake them all up, sometimes beat her mother. She was also often physically punished by both father and mother. So more or less, she did not have father figure in her life, and it is probably one of the reasons why she married 10 years older man, I was actually the replacement of her dad she never really had. In the early years of the relation, she was dependent on me in pretty much every way, and I was really leading us both through. That dynamic has changed once kids were born, and more and more things started to depend on her regarding the kids and family in general. At that point I was not seen any more as a father-like but as someone equal to her, and this is the period when her dissatisfaction and problems started to accumulate. We never had open communication in the marriage before and mostly problems were pushed under the carpet, which from outside looked like perfect marriage without any fights, and apparently it was rotten from inside. And then, at this new work she got, her boss took over the role of the replacement father I used to be. He is now 20 years older than her, and the power and influence he has as the VP in the company was probably very attractive and irresistible. He is reasonably good-looking for the man of his age, but also not Brad Pitt kind of man in any way. So, the physical attraction did not really have much to do with anything that happened down the road. She has also finally admitted they had slept together on more than one occasion. I insisted to tell me when and where, it was during the work, at the lunch break. He was taking her to some hotels, motels, whatever. So now she said it happened only a couple of times and that six months ago she told him they have to stop doing that and since then they never did it again. I know it is lie again because of what I heard on the recording, but I do not really care anymore to get full truth. But what is really bothering me is this. On the recording I heard her saying to her toxic friend something like this. I have two problems with this job in fact. First one is that my husband would again make fuzz about nothing at some point. And second problem is that sometimes I can't resist and I do it again with the boss. So, in her head, I was making fuzz about nothing and she was not doing anything bad. And then, in the same sentence, she admits that sometimes she can't resist and still meets him in the hotel rooms. For me, this looks like serious psychological issue, I am not the expert in the field to establish the diagnosis myself. Actually, I am starting to see this as an early sign of the genetic mental disorders which are very common in her family from mother's side, and her mom, aunts, uncles, even her brother, they are all in a way more or less nuts. She was apparently hiding it very well until now but it slowly starts to appear. And having that in mind, if this is true, I am starting to be scared that my kids might be impacted as well during their lifetime. My comment, Whenever there is an affair at work, I like it when the cheater gets served at work, thereby letting the other man, OWC the cheater's reaction, and to make them wonder if a message has been sent.